Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at the best cheap mini PC that's worth buying. This one is the B-Link SER Ryzen 3 3200U. It has a Ryzen 3 3200U, which is a dual core, 2.6 GHz, boosting up to 3.5 GHz. 16 GB of DDR4 RAM, which goes up to 64 GB if you upgrade. It has a 500 GB NVMe drive in it, a Type-C, two HDMI and four USB 3.0 ports and a bunch of other specs which we'll go through in this video. This is everything you can get in the kit when you buy it. You've got your uh, user manual here which is written in English and also has color images and text here which you can easily understand if you've never owned one of these and want to set it up and you want to upgrade it. It gives you all that information in there. We've got our plate here to mount it to our monitor, a couple of HDMI cables and our power brick and also we also have some screws here and our unit itself the power adapter here is a uk plug but if you get yours in another country it will come with the plug for your country that you use there let's take a look at the mini pc itself in more detail we have a clear cmos on the front we have two usb 3.0 ports a type c input there and we also have our audio and also we have our power button on there on the side we have some ventilation and on the other side we have some more ventilation on the rear, we have our one gigabit Ethernet port, also two USB 3.0 ports, two HDMI ports, and our DC input there. We can also see the ventilation up the top, which is our exhaust fan to draw air out of the system to keep the mini PC cool. Let's take a look at the actual unit itself. There's room for upgradability here with an SSD. You can put one of these in here, and you can also upgrade other components in this unit as well. Now, here is our a Kingston NVMe drive. We also have crucial RAM in here. Now this only has one stick in here, but I do believe that they've upgraded this to having dual uh, speed memory in here where two slots are populated. But this one is a 16 gig uh, stick of RAM, which is in one slot, which would make that single channel. So if you upgraded and bought another stick, you would get 32 gigs in here and you would then run this on dual channel. Or you can go up to 64 gigs and buy more RAM. It's entirely up to you but plenty powerful and it runs really cool as well with their new fan design in this unit. So let's run Cinebench. Now you've seen me run Cinebench before with other mini PCs and sometimes the temperatures get way too hot. But with these B-Link SER versions, they come with some really good cooling and you can see the maximum temperature this got to under full load was 81 Celsius, which is pretty good for a mini PC. There was also no thermal throttling or anything like that with this particular system, as you can see on the screen there. Really super nice cooling uh, from B-Link with this little mini PC. I'm really uh, pleased with that because some of these do foul this test. You can see the score got 1,906 points uh, for a Ryzen 3, which isn't too bad. So let's run the Geekbench CPU and GPU test here so we can see what scores we have get with the uh, Geekbench benchmark software. So I'm going to run the CPU one first, and we'll see what we get here. So the scores are single core 802, and the multi-core score is 1,847. So let's go ahead and run uh, the uh, GPU scores here so we can get an idea of what GPU scores we can get here. Now you can see the power plan is set to balanced on this. I haven't overclocked it or anything like that. It's straight out of the box as you would get yours when you purchase one. So this mini PC is pretty good for running applications like Photoshop, GIMP, or any of those types of things. You can do 4K uh, movies on these and run that sort of stuff on here. It's not going to be an out and out gaming system, but it can play some games, some light gaming and things like that, as you'll see later on in a video. So the GPU score is 4,433, which is a pretty good score for a little mini PC like this. Now, 4K playback is very, very good indeed. As you can see, no stuttering or anything like that, as you would expect with this particular little unit. Now, if you want to mount this to the back of your monitor, you can do, and you can run dual monitors on this little system as well with the dual uh, HDMI on this little system here. So it'll make a lovely little media playback uh, mini PC your home. So I really do like these little mini PCs. Uh, there's plenty of them out there to choose from, but B-Link make some of the best ones out there on the market. So let's quickly test the NVMe for sequential reads and sequential writes for this system here. So I'm going to run this on here. It does have a Kingston NVMe drive, 
and uh, we'll speed this up so we can get to the end so you can see what scores you're going to get so for the reads you're going to get 1430.90 and for the writes 1286.86 and the 4k is 385.80 and the writes are 227.84 for the 4k's pretty good and uh, not a bad little system. Now, as I've said before, you can always run applications on here with no problems at all. Things like GIMP and Photoshop will run on this little system with no problems. So if you are looking to do a little bit of editing on here for photos, you should be pretty fine. Again, I wouldn't use this system for rendering 4K or editing 4K movies because that might be a bit more difficult. Now, I did mention about gameplay. Now, this does have the Radeon vega free graphics at 1200 megahertz you may be able to overclock that a little bit i haven't tested it yet but this is stock settings playing ashfelt it can play ashfelt and games like that now i haven't tested it fully on some other games like csgo or valorant or any of those games or fortnite uh, but if you want to see some more game benchmarks on here then let me know in the comment section below I do realize that this is a Ryzen 3 with Vega 3 graphics, so you're not going to get uh, high frame rates on bleeding edge games. It's just not going to happen with this particular type of system, but it should play, uh, you know, the retro games. You, you should be able to do some of that sort of stuff on here and uh, games like these, no problems whatsoever. Now, it does have Bluetooth and it does have Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 5, in fact, and it does come with Windows 11 Pro on here. So it does have all your requirements on here. So what is the cost for this little system? Now, if you check out B-Link's website, I'll leave the information and links in the video description. This is the exact same model here, and it does have some good specifications on it, but £402 for this Ryzen 3 version here, which I think is a little bit probably on the pricey side. And that's why I did a bit of digging around, and I did find a cheaper version, exactly the same, online, and it was on Banggood, and their price was £288. Now, that is a pretty good deal, and uh, again, for this mini PC, if you're looking for a cheap mini PC that is pretty good at what it does, then the B-Link uh, SER Free is a pretty good option, and this is the Ryzen Free version. So if you're looking for a mini PC that doesn't break the bank, then the B-Link SER Free the Ryzen 3 3200U is a pretty good option to go for. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this one. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really appreciate the support, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.